Hi, I'm Josh, and this is Cars and Joshy. I got a little something to go over. When you go to the truck spacing with an LSA setup, most people do the six rib setup because the original LSA spacing on an eight rib compared to the truck spacing, it has one rib up front, one rib to the back, and then six in the middle. When you get an eight rib truck pulley, if you don't go to the LSA pulley or go to the the spacing for the LSA or, or Corvette or something like that, then uh, what I got, the Power Bond and the Innovators West crank pulleys, they put two, two ribs to the front. So, which means my setup now on the eight rib, what's happening is when it gets to the supercharger pulley and this tensioner right here, so what's happening is it's walking the belt off to the back side. You can't really see it in here. Let me get a flashlight. Walking the belt off. You see it's off by about one rib. And so what I need to do now, I can take the belt back off one rib is 0 0.140 so I basically need to shim where this bracket mounts 0 0.140 and I can take the actual pulley off take these bolts out and I can shim this out and it should line up with the crank and everything should be good to go then so I'm gonna work on that alright so Went ahead and pulled the pulley off of the grip tech hub and uh, I wanted to get a shim made for it to get proper belt alignment. So I went to a local machine shop and uh, for a 140 thousandths inch shim, the guy wanted $200 to make it. So I was like, eh, I'll, find, I'll find another way. So I ordered some gasket material from Amazon and I've, I already have, you know, gasket maker punch set. So, so uh, I'm just going to make a temporary spacer out of gasket material until I can figure out how I want to build it out of some type of steel or metal. There's my gasket outline. Problem is, don't know that I have a, a little punch small enough for this. I think the one that I have is too big. My gasket maker set was a little bit too big, so I just used the punch from the punch set that I had. I just kind of matched up to size and put this on a piece of wood and just punched my holes through this these only get torqued down to 62 inch pounds so it's about five foot pounds. So I'm not going to be too crazy with these. Before, I can clearly tell that it was off 
from the dampener and the water pump now it's looking a lot better line up the water pump yeah supercharger pulley looks a lot better now I still need to do the tensioner right here you can see that's off looks, looks like it's off by a couple rib or two but supercharger pulley looks a lot closer now and it's not torqued down yet so I imagine it's still gonna pull in a little bit more but I mean it looks looks much more lined up so hopefully that'll that'll hold like that We'll turn it over by hand, see how it likes it. Looks much more in line. Pulley, water pump, supercharger. All right, not walking off of that one yet not walking off of this one it is still even with the water pump haven't started walking yet i think we're gonna be good i won't really know until i get some rpms on it so that's gonna do it for this video thanks for watching cars and joshy josh out